those three tissues do need to have uh, a certain level of ACE2 receptor simply to for the virus to enter. This virus has to interact with the surface of the cell. It's like the key in the lock. If the fit is not perfect, the virus cannot enter, right? So that means that the cultivars that we have found, they are likely to uh, decrease the chance of infection among uh, people because simply we reduce the number of those uh, locks, right, that the virus can pick. And it will uh, reduce uh, severity of the disease and prevent complications because, again, the virus is not able to amplify those receptors in our body, therefore it will have trouble to reinfect all our cells. We decided that the cannabis would be a good use because uh, the process we're dealing with is an infection. It uh, triggers inflammation and uh, cannabis is known to curb the inflammation, right? So uh, from many uh, papers published on rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, multiple sclerosis, you know, a variety of skin conditions. So uh, we already had all those cultivars tested for psoriasis, for eczema, for skin aging, and uh, they were already patented because we've done uh, all the research. So it was a, a natural idea that they should work for, uh, for COVID as well, right? We did not expect that it would work so well, right? Uh, but our thinking was when we looked at the possible drugs that were developed before we have any vaccine, yes, they may slow down and prevent uh, disease or complications, but they have lots of side effects. And uh, if you look at especially high CBD cannabis, there are very little to none. Uh, there are no serious side effects at all. The human body is much, much more complex than life inside that petri dish. The cells are arranged in three-dimensional structures. Uh, there's the effects on the immune system. There's effects on blood flow. So it's a very, very complex system that you really can't mimic very well in the petri dish. So it's a good start, but right now the level of confidence that you would have that it was going to work has to be very low. One of the things that helps to speak against that mechanism, or maybe that that mechanism wouldn't be fabulous, is that there are drugs that we know that are commonly used to lower people's blood pressure called ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers. And these drugs uh, actually increase concentrations of ACE2, and people were worried that uh, if you were using these drugs that it might make the COVID-19 infections that the people had worse because you'd be able to get better entrance into the cell and you'd be able to have more replication. But when they did the human studies, what they found out was that this was not true. As a matter of fact, one of those drug classes, the angiotensin receptor blockers, are now actually being investigated in humans as a potential treatment. Now, we don't know how well it's going to work when those studies are done, but right now there's some conflicting mechanisms as to the value ACE2 in uh, COVID-19 infections. If you're a smoker and smoke, um, yes, I, I, I will not change your habits, right? So likely high CBD would help you more, right? So high CBD variety, but we haven't done actual human tests and smoking for disease that targets lungs, probably not a good idea. If you, all of you want cannabis to be taken seriously, and that means it will be either OTC or actual medical drug. All research has to be done, clinical trials have to, have to be done, 
but hey, there are many viruses out there and what will develop in the future will help for all of it. Just be patient.